The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Recently, Evinrude introduced its new E-Tech G2150HO engine, a completely new platform designed for both saltwater and freshwater applications. With its combination of low emissions, fuel efficiency, high torque at low and mid RPM, and numerous modern features, the E-Tech G2150HO is a good choice for single and twin engine saltwater center consoles, bass and multi-species freshwater fishing boats, small sport boats, and pontoon boats. SAE standards allow all engine makers to build motors with 10% variations from maximum stated power output. The Evinrude E-Tech G2150HO engine takes advantage of that SAE standard and is tuned to produce 10% more power, so its output at max RPM is closer to 165 horsepower. According to the folks at Evinrude, the E-Tech G2150HO makes 30% more peak torque than a competitive four-stroke outboard. This means quicker planing times and much more power when accelerating. Owners of fast boats and small sport boats for towing should like this feature. In our tests of the new E-Tech G2150HO on a 19-foot aluminum boat weighing about 2,700 pounds with two people aboard, we recorded a time to plane of 2.8 seconds, 0 to 20 of 2.9 seconds, and 0 to 30 in 5.2. In our test of a typical entry-level fiberglass sport boat with two people aboard, we recorded a time to plane of 3.6 seconds, 0 to 20 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, and 0 to 30 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds. Evinrude's engineers tell us that based on their dyno testing of competitive engines, the E-Tech G2150HO has best-in-class fuel economy when using average customer duty cycles established by Icomia procedures. In our own testing of the new E-Tech G2150HO on a 19-foot aluminum multi-species fishing boat, we recorded a best cruise fuel economy of 5.71 miles per gallon at 3500 RPM, going 26.6 miles per hour. In our test of a similar sport boat, we recorded a best cruise fuel economy of 5.81 miles per gallon. These are impressive fuel flow numbers no matter how you look at it. The side panels were offered in seven colors with 14 accent colors, making it easy to match to the boat's color. Now let's take a closer look at the motor starting with the SLX gear case. It's the same gear case used on the Evinrude E-Tech G2 300 horsepower engine, which is designed for heavy duty offshore work. It features a larger anti-ventilation plate, a straight leading edge, and two low water pickups. The cambered skeg eliminates the need for a trim tab. Forward of the drive shaft in the lower unit is the shift module. It gets a digital signal from the helm and smoothly shifts the gears. This eliminates both the need for mechanical linkages and the clunk when you shift into gear. Owners can fine tune the prop performance by adjusting the ventilation ports on the hub of the prop. The E-Tech G2150HO comes with either the track midsection, which is designed to be used with conventional steering systems, or the new G2 midsection with internal steering. Its components include an extra large tilt tube, which gives stability as it tilts the engine up to 81 degrees, getting the engine completely out of the water on virtually all boats. Below, we see the trim ram, which is activated by the automatic iTrim system, which people new to boating will like. The integrated dynamic power steering mechanism is completely encased in this internal housing, eliminating external rams and hardware. At the top of the midsection is a rigging box, which accepts all of the wiring harnesses and hydraulic hoses in one clean tube. Moving to the top of the engine, we find the engine oil fill. Also at the top of the engine is the magneto system, the only one in the industry which eliminates the belts and pulleys of an alternator. This unit produces 133 amps, 50 of which are sent to the house battery for onboard accessories. Moving to the starboard side of the motor, we see the oil tank that gives owners an average of 50 hours of use between fill-ups. This tank is equipped with a digital oil level sending unit that provides accurate information about how much lubricant is left. Forward is the starter and just aft is the fuse box with a spare fuse at the ready. After the tank are the spark plugs and the direct fuel injectors. Each cylinder has its own dedicated injector which optimizes fuel delivery and results in the lowest emission of any outboard on the market. All of this is controlled by the engine's brain, the EMM, which is raw water cooled for durability. Moving to the engine's port side, we see a fuel pump diaphragm and the vapor separator. Just aft are the fuel water separator and gear case oil reservoir. Evernude uses a clear bottle so an order can easily see the quality of the oil as well as the quantity. The 66 degree block is epoxy coated and the lower units are coated with a titanium oxide to dramatically reduce corrosion. 
There is no break in period with the G2 engines and their auto winterizing feature allows owners to fog their own engine without taking it to a dealer. There's no scheduled dealer service required for five years or 500 hours and best of all, it's the engine's top to bottom five year warranty. And that's our look at the all new Evernerd E-Tech G2-150HO engine. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.